Hello everyone, I am Crawlers and um, this video I'm gonna try and make sense of some of the Battlefield 4 um, weapon attachments as seen in the Alpha. Now obviously this wouldn't, uh, these wouldn't be all the attachments in the game, in the retail game, uh, just the ones they showed us and as far as the stats go They'll probably take a balancing after the be the beta, or the beta, as the Brits say it, uh, gives a, gives them a good run, you know. Okay, so let's begin with the laser sight that we all know, and uh, you know, from Battlefield Three. Uh, we all know that the laser sight is in uh, Battlefield Three the same as it will be in Battlefield Four. It can be switched on and off and uh, it will shine to and blind you uh, when it's directly in your face. Now, um, Battlefield 4 stats for the laser sight uh, say it decreases your standing hip fire spread, or rather I should say it multiplies the spread by 0.75. And um, same with the crouching spread, uh, which it multiplies by 0.67 and the prone hip fire uh, spread uh, by 0.86 this is obviously when you're not aiming down sight as you know by now uh, from the battlefield 3 uh, gaming and uh, I don't guess uh, I guess I don't have to tell you that in order for the laser to take effect it must be on and uh, you know actually working Okay, now the suppressor. The suppressor shown here on this beautiful 1911 is a suppressor much like the one we got in Battlefield 3. It will hide you on the minimap when firing and it will muffle your shot's uh, sound as well as the flash while severely lowering your muzzle velocity. Uh, you know, the velocity of the bullet, uh, while also moving uh, the drop-off, uh, the damage drop-off, uh, to a very much earlier uh, distance, a shorter distance, I should say. Uh, it will also multiply your hip fire spread by 1.2, so it'll make it just a tad bigger. Okay, now comes the angled grip. Now the angled grip, much like the vertical grip, sits on or rather under the barrel of the gun and basically provides something to hold the gun by, a second handle if you will, uh, because you can't actually grab the gun by the magazine, you know, because, well, you know, it should be kind of obvious, uh, the kick of the gun would tear the magazine right out of, well, the gun, you know. And then you look pretty damn foolish standing there, you know, in front of the, your enemy with nothing but your charm and, you know, a magazine in one hand. Uh, now, many people will have different things in their hands, obviously. I um, prefer it to be a magazine because, uh, you know, this, is, this show isn't rated R. Uh, now, the angled grip is... Uh, well, angled. Uh, it's an angled back uh, a little bit as opposed to a straight up and down grip because, well, I think it's just a little easier to hold, much like, you know, an angled grip, uh, a pistol grip on a pistol. Now, in Battlefield 4, it gives you the effect of multiplying the first shot's recoil by 0.67, and so, in effect, you get uh, 0.67 of the usual kick of the first shot. Now let's take the vertical foregrip. Much like uh, the one we have in Battlefield 3, it also goes under the barrel, uh, the gun's barrel, and what it does is it cuts the moving ADS and hip fire spread in half. Okay, now the bipod. Uh, the bipod that's not actually on the MGs, you know, uh, the bipod that you can put on, like, uh, your 
uh, assault rifles and uh, sniper rifles and things like that. It will improve your ADS spread by multiplying it by 0.25, so in effect it will be a quarter of the ADS spread. It also improves your hip fire spread by multiplying it by uh, 0 0.125, 0 0.17 and 0.25 respectively depending on the stance. And by um, depending on the stats, I mean uh, when you are standing, crouching, or prone. It also improves the vertical and horizontal recoil by multiplying it by 0.34. And it also multiplies the first shot's recoil by 0.34. Uh, it also effectively reduces the spread per shot by half. And uh, needless to say, the bipod must be deployed in order to take effect. Okay, now we come to the LMG bipod. It will multiply your aiming down side spread by 0 0.16, 0 0.25, and 0.5 respectively, uh, depending on your stance. And again, it will multiply your hip fire spread by 0.05, 0.63 and 0.085 respectively. Um, it will also do a lot to fix your vertical recoil by multiplying it by a whopping 0.15 and horizontal by 0.34. It will also smooth out the first shot multiplier by multiplying that by 0.15. Okay, now um, we get to something interesting. Now, as far as muzzle brakes, uh, Battlefield 4 has them in two flavors. Uh, now, both serve kind of kind of the same purpose once you look at it, but um, these things look differently. Okay, so you have the muzzle brake, which impl improves your vertical recoil by multiplying it by 0.75, and increases your uh, spread per shot by multiplying that by 1.3. And um, what it is, is a piece of metal with holes uh, strategically positioned around it uh, that you put onto bigger guns, uh, like assault rifles and LMGs and such. Now, uh, Battlefield 4 also has a compensator, uh, which acts very much, uh, very, very similarly to the, uh, to the uh, muzzle brake, in that it also increases your per shot spread by uh, multiplying it by 1.3, but it also helps with the horizontal recoil uh, by multiplying it by 0.75. Now, um, the compensator is pretty much the same thing as the muzzle brake, except it is for pistols. Now, as we all learned by now, pistols in Battlefield 4 uh, will also have attachments just as the uh, primary guns, uh, three of them. And one of them will be the barrel modi modifier, which uh, which the compensator is. And now you can see this awesome picture of the beautiful 1911 uh, that uh, the compensator sits on the end of the barrel and does not travel back with the slide when you fire the gun. In fact, this is a very good picture because, uh, as you can see, uh, you can also sort out uh, uh, you know, sort of see the holes on top of it where the gases escape. Uh, now the AK uh, has a built-in muzzle brake, which you can sort of see, and uh, they come in different flavors and look differently, obviously, for each gun. But, uh, you know, you can see here that the barrel of the AK is cut at an angle. Uh, now, the, the bullet, you see, when it escapes the barrel, right? There are gases behind it, and they're expanding at very, very, very uh, fast uh, 
at a very very fast uh, speed and uh, as the gases want to escape every which way up down left and right and so on but since the barrel is cut at an angle you see the gases start to escape up but have no place to go down so because there's still metal uh, under them and they start pushing down on that metal and dust the barrel and now you know uh, therefore the barrel doesn't jump up or jump up as far obviously obviously it still jumps a little bit but you know much less now different guns have different muzzle brakes as I said but um, they all serve pretty much the same purpose they are using the gases from the gun uh, from the firing of the gun to decrease recoil by channeling them through uh, you know particular holes uh, for example uh, there is a muzzle brake of this is a muzzle brake for the 50 caliber uh, sniper rifle and you know early models of the Russian T-34 tank uh, that they experimented with uh, with different muzzle brakes for the cannon including just a straight cut pipe that they sort of just inserted onto the end of the cannon perpendicular to the end, uh, to the barrel itself and now if the if the, you know it sort of uh, looked weird but you know I guess they experimented with all sorts of different stuff now I gotta say if this means we'll have some awesome looking pistol compensators in Battlefield 4 uh, you know much like the ones in the movies uh, like Robocop had on his gun that would be awesome and I'm you know I'm all for it so um yeah I guess that's all for the attachments um thanks for watching and uh, getting through this boring video for me uh, please rate if you want uh, share this video and uh, you know check out my other videos at the end of this one and remember in Soviet Russia YouTube subscribes you